radiation meters are required to be calibrated once a year um, at a minimum, sometimes twice a year. They are fairly complicated pieces of electronics. Radiation is invisible, colorless, orderless. Um, the only way you know that your meter is reading correctly is if you've had it calibrated. Radiation is invisible. Um, it's important to know uh, if there's a radiation source somewhere, or contamination somewhere, that when the emergency responders roll up on the scene that they have a meter that they can trust, that they're getting accurate readings. So we want our public responders to be safe when they do that. And so what I'll do is I'll open up the little cow pods here and this enables me to adjust the high voltage and to adjust the different ranges that we have the ability to detect on here. This is a 3 Curie cesium-137 source. that um, It's a primarily a gamma emitter. And so I put this on the range and move this back and forth in front of the, the radiation source, I can adjust the doses. I've always liked doing stuff with my hands, and a lot of the stuff we do with radiation safety and coverage of meters is doing stuff on the hands. I grew up on a farm, I'm used to doing stuff and being active, and radiation safety was a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of cool stuff.